I live here! Welcome back everybody. In today's video, we have DMA and Karen as they ran out of librarians to harass and they now started to harass post office employees and of course the patrons. But it doesn't really work for them and they get roasted. Enjoy the video. Hey guys, I'm from a Audis, aka the Mile High Auditor. We're here at this post office, Columbine Hills Branch in Littleton, Colorado. Came here to check it out. I have subscriber Zach here with me. And over there, got big sister, Rika Benson. So let's uh, check it out, guys, see how it goes. This is curious. Yeah, we're just taking some pictures. How are you doing today? I'm well, you guys? I work good. Very well, thank yeah. you. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. Well, you guys want to go in there? Yeah. It seems like they took a page right out of Amagansett Press's book where they stand right in front of the entrance and record every single person entering a post office. Okay, let's go. This used to be my post office. I lived right behind here for 15 years. Ah! Oh, really? Yep. It's a very busy. So I want to ask all the frauditor bootlickers a question. What is he recording right now? What is DMA recording? He's recording a lady conducting a transaction at the post office. Right now she's conducting a transaction with a self-service machine at the post office. So he's not working on a story. He's not doing any sort of activism. He's just recording people's transactions. We're just taking some pictures in here. So what? Well, we're just taking some pictures. <laughs> That's all. Wow. Even if I told you I'm retired from the station a week. Oh, really? Are you? Oh, that's cool. Still not going to do Oh, we're just we're just doing a little story on the on your the post office here. That's all. So we just came to take some pictures and check it out. We're gonna, we got to get a stamp too. So be a little bit. There's only one clerk. Oh, really? Is that why the line's so long? That's because you retired. Yeah. <laughs> Part of it. So tell me about your uh, time at the post office when you were an employee there for four years. It sucked. It completely sucked. You want to talk about going postal? It's real. You know, I think we're all wondering why you're filming or taking pictures. Are you able to tell us? And don't put me on camera, please. Well, if you're starting a conversation with us, I'm going to record. Oh, give me a break. He was already recording the woman before she started talking to him. Did you record me? I recorded you. I recorded anything I can see in here. You want to talk to me? I'll record you. <laughs> it's just, so. it's a public lobby. We can't. We're it's a you're lobbying for something no oh, we're in a public lobby this is a public building yeah so we can record in public she's just asking what you're recording for that's all oh. just for that reason oh, yeah just taking video and photo for that reason Do, for yeah. a purpose because we can't well, usually I'm, I'm in the arts and when i film something i'm usually doing yeah, a movie definitely. or i'm going to show it it's uh -huh. for a performance or well sometimes we just do things because we can't Oh, that's not an answer. And you know it what? is an answer. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. I just did, I missed that. I heard you. I said that's what she asked about what we're doing. What she asked filming for. Yeah. And simple question. And I gave the most simple answer I could. Who cares, dude? Who cares? Who cares? Why be recording? Wait. What was your question? Well, All I said was that's what she asked. You can film me, I don't care. Because okay. we can. I know you guys have the right to do this. I know all about this. I'm just, she just asked you why you're filming. Because we can. Because you can? Then why is he asking you about employment with the post office? 
There's a reason behind it. There's a reason behind it. It's not private, it's public, because you're in a public place, right? Right. So, use your brain. I am using my brain, and I'm answering the simplest I was talking to her. We're having, I, I was having a conversation between me and her. That's all. And then she so. asked you, why are you filming? Yeah, but I mean, I can ask you, why are you wearing a pink shirt? I can ask you, why is your hair long? I mean, why would you ask? I mean, I can ask people all kinds of stuff, man. I don't have to answer you. I didn't have to answer her. I, I answered her because I was being nice, but I don't have to. You your you demeanor, do. you're coming off confrontational, like you're trying to start something really? with us. Yeah. Oh, I'll cry about it. Now that's hilarious. The gentleman said cry about it. And little does he know that's exactly what DMA is about to do. You're the one crying, man. I'm cool. I'm standing here waiting my turn, bro. You're the one that wants to engage. I didn't, I didn't engage. I just said that's what she asked. Was what are you guys doing? Could be respectful and give a, a respectful answer. We did. And it's we did give a respectful answer. So now you said I'm disrespectful because I gave a simple answer? Yeah. She, she, didn't, right. she asked it, what for. It's not the answer that just you're looking for. Just to take. That's all I'm doing. Good for you. It's not the answer that you think we should have gave, then it's a disrespectful answer. Yeah, okay, bro. Exactly. Look at this guy. That poor lady got all flustered and slammed her thing down and left. Did, Did you did? see that lady, the blonde that was behind you? No, I, I missed She's it. She's like, I'm not doing this. She slams her thing down and left. Who cares, Dad? Who cares? Who cares why we're recording? I actually pay all my bills the old fashioned way, I write checks. Wow, so she's proud that they're actually running off customers from the post office. So she is technically costing the post office money right now. What? Yeah. All of them? Yeah. If I get a girlfriend and they want to like do that for me and set me up, all oh, that. Oh, please. That's why I need a girlfriend. I can't do everything on my own. I'm just Good like luck. a man child. Yeah, well, yeah. I'll find Those someone eventually. <laughs> I know, they're going to want me to do everything. I love it. She's taking pictures of her phone of you. <laughs> if you were in a school, this is illegal. What, I'm not in a school? Don't take my picture. You just I'll took my picture, right? No. You just took my picture. Yeah. Not I yours. Mean, Who's, who'd you take? That didn't make sense. I'm going to stay here and just watch this. I was waving. It's okay. You can take my picture. I don't mind. So what gives you the right to do this? What gives me the right? Uh-huh. The yeah. Constitution of the United States? First Amendment. Yeah, man, place. You take my picture, their picture. But you just took my picture, right? I, you didn't ask me for permission, right? So why would you tell me that I don't have a right to record what they're when doing you just took a picture? What, what they're doing is completely legal. They're just rude about it. That's all. They We're rude? rude. That's all. For sure. This guy says that I'm rude? Yep. Yeah, I said you're rude. There's cameras in I've been here. totally polite to everyone that I've oh, talked to so far. Not really. It's your opinion. But somebody like this? Somebody like this, what do you mean? Somebody or some place? This is a, it's a public post office. Look at that, I'm not arguing with your rights. You know what's hilarious is that even people who actually agree with frauding can't stand DMA. He's just that unlikable. Because we can. You wanted to argue with that though. No, I didn't. I said go for it. Yeah, what do you? I just said I don't want to argue about your rights. That's you have the right to film. Earlier, dude. That's not what you did earlier. It's all right. All she. I asked you to answer her question correctly. Like give her a proper answer. That's okay. all. That was a proper. It's just the answer that you wanted. That's all. So if I ask you who you work for, do you guys post this on Instagram? Would why you answer you any of those questions? Why would you even ask me? Who because I work I've for? seen videos like this before. Why? I'm curious. Maybe I do support what you guys are doing. Well, if you, you guys make yourself look doing? like an asshole because you're disrespectful to people. You're the I only actually, one that's been disrespectful. I, I've been respectful to everyone that's been respectful to me. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. It's all about you. That's the point. Well, I don't recall us calling the names. Yeah, so. there is that. Hmm. I'm welcome to my opinion. Free you country, are. right? You fight for freedom Absolutely. of speech, right? Okay? So, I mean, there I'm you just go. taking photo and video. It's fine. I, again, I've said I support that. Whisper behind the camera, lady. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised they can do it in the building. Do you like freedom, ma'am? Let's try to have some dialogue. You want, you want to know why we're doing this. I'm willing to engage with you. 
Beautiful. You're asking why you think you don't you can't believe that we can record inside the building. I'm willing to tell you the reason we can. If you want to engage, have a conversation. No? Okay. It's it's called freedom, man. We live in the United States, right? We have freedom in this country. Election day. Woohoo! Freedom. I mean, these two girls like, act like the this camera like still souls or something, man. See, right now he's totally acting like a predator. He's focusing on the two ladies that don't want to be recorded. They're creating their own privacy. Why can't you respect that? Crazy. What about the other cameras? Hey, what about these cameras? Hey, ma'am, in the camo, you know all these security cameras in here? There's like tons of them. They're recording you too. I'm pretty sure you could do a FOIA request, Freedom of Information Act, and you can you can get all the footage, security camera footage, guys. I see so you guys you'll know. have to pay for it. You have to pay for it, but it's open. It's not like this is like private stuff. All these security cameras up here, where are they? That one right there? That's public record. Anyone can get that footage. It's not like it's private. So you're being recorded. Most Americans are recorded about 20 times a day when they leave their house. There we go. It says right there. Activity in this lobby may be monitored or recorded for operational and security purposes. You're right. It says it right there. Security purposes, not harassment and cloud chasing purposes. Trusting of government you are, but not your fellow man. <laughs> we're not like a free, free country, but we're freer than most countries, right? <laughs> we're definitely freer than most. And I'm glad that I live in a country where, you know, I do have some freedom. There's a lot of countries where you can't do stuff like this. People that think that you and I should be locked in a cage for coming into a public building with a, a camcorder. I mean, that's crazy. A lot of people, a lot of people want to use force and coercion on free Americans because they're, you know, exercising their First Amendment right or they're they're being nonviolent in a public place. So just think about that, guys. The more control you give the government, the more tyrannical they become. Use it or lose it. It's like a muscle. Right? You can't just drink protein shakes and get buff, right? You have to exercise. Do you know what you're doing with the video? No. Well, do I know what they're doing? Like I said, I could come here and get this video over here too. Yes, you know very well what the post office is doing with the video. It's for security purposes, and that's it. On the security cameras? Ma'am, I could do that. Like anyone could come get the security camera footage. It's open to the public, public record. So, I mean, I don't know what you're going to do with that picture you took of me on your cell phone. I mean, it just doesn't give you much credibility, ma'am, when you're, you don't want me to take a picture of you, yet you just took a picture of me. So next week it's on like Donkey Kong, no? With the, the, the three musketeers back together. <laughs> Sweet tea. Oh, I wasn't sure if you were referencing yeah. that. Yeah, she's the third. We're the dynamic trio <laughs> over here. The three amigos. I don't know, we gotta come up with a name. Oh, I have the perfect name for them. Actually, it's not me who came up with it, but our good subscriber, Billy Bob Al Hashim, check this out. If no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A team. So yes, their name is the A-Team, the asshole team, because they are honestly a bunch of assholes. I don't know who's worse, Sweat T, Karen Benson, or Christopher. Dusty. Dusty. Dusty one, two, and three. Dusty? A bit all dusty. Come out here looking all dusty. I think I look pretty clean. <laughs> look at how dusty I look today. You look well, designer, bro. Let's see what he's working with. He's got the holes in the jeans, right? Hey, I'm still young. He's got the fitted ones. Skinny jean boy. 
<laughs> and it is election day. I voted <laughs> for freedom. <laughs> I, I voted. I voted for freedom. We are. We, we have to. We absolutely want to have to. to the camera? Mm -hmm. the only way. I just think oh, it's hysterical how everybody in here is arguing over something so stupid. You guys can record me if you want. I'm fine with it. Thank you. We appreciate you, man. We appreciate your love for freedom. Yeah. Right on. You got a bright future, man. Absolutely. This kid is young. You know, he's impersonable. He has a lot to learn, so we'll give him a pass. It takes an experienced eye to discern the difference between an activist and a frauditor that's just there to harass people. That's refreshing. What they're trying to do is dumb down the population into, into making everything seem like it's a crime, right? Mm -hmm. And being a free American isn't a crime. So we appreciate that, man. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, what yes. limited edition stamps do you have right now here? The, what? I'm sorry? The limited edition stamps. Oh, yes, yes. That book of thank you. Thank you was? This way. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. I'll have one of those. Please. Whole books? Yeah, I'll take the whole sheet. Okay, I get your receipt. Please. Yes. There's poster seven. I'll show it to you. Did you need a single? No. Nope. Give us okay. a soft show, baby, please. Oh, sure. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Have nice days. Thank you very much. I'm Thank sorry you're the only one up here. Yeah. I yeah. haven't to be yeah. distracted and listening there, to all this. There's a poster seven is this policy. Uh, we appreciate you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. You have a good day. Thank you as well. Yeah, Post Master's not even here. I know. Thank you. Good. Thank you. Thanks. Appreciate it. I mean, that guy just couldn't help but make himself just, look foolish, he could he? He just wouldn't <laughs> give up. It's okay, so what are you taking a picture of the license for? Did I take your license? Do I know why you're here doing that? No. I would delete that. We've made no threatening gestures. We have no ill will, no ill intent. Why are you taking a picture of Because of, of the way that you're license. acting, ma'am. It's They're publicly displayed for a reason, ma'am. Okay? Ma'am, you drew our oh attention over word. to you. That's all, ma'am. They're publicly displayed so that people can see them. That's all. Huh? Oh, she doesn't. She doesn't like that we're recording or taking pictures. That's all. Oh, not for any reason. Oh, we have a reason. Well, there's always a reason for everything. I just wanted to, was wondering if they were, if they did something or if you. Were no, no. They they were just upset that we were taking, taking pictures. Video. That's, it. that's all. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, what's up? going on how much why are you guys filming why are we filming yeah <laughs> we're just taking some pictures man yeah, yeah. okay yeah why are you going to the post office mail package mail package okay all right guys so we're gonna go ahead and get out of here yeah so dma and his gang of karens feel really proud that they were able to harass older ladies and just make complete fools out of themselves it turns out that they ran out of libraries and now they're targeting post offices. Absolutely disgusting. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you on the next one. I live here!